Death by Natural Causes by Kay Manship. She's sitting, staring at the door. The steep staircase of the Victorian terrace that she lives in lies beyond. The noises are definitely rhythmic. Is that footsteps? The other noise is the sound of her heartbeat thudding in her chest and resounding in her ears. It's directly overhead now. It's definitely footsteps. She realises she's holding her breath, but fear is stopping her exhaling. Her heartbeat is louder, quicker. Can fear cause painting, she wonders to herself. Will she be found dead in her beautifully decorated front room by her husband when he returns from his night shift? Oh God, now she hears voices. They're muffled, but they're distinctly from above. She rubs her arms, realising she is sprouting goosebumps all over. The room feels cold, despite the heating blaring from the radiator, just from her right. She listens carefully. It appears quiet again. She remonstrates with herself. It's an old Victorian terrace. Noise travels. This was probably just that. Next door, thumping their way up their own stairs, whilst talking to each other. Her heartbeat starts to slow to a normal pace and her breathing becomes steady. She smiles to herself, relief flooding through her whole body. She won't tell anyone, they'll just laugh. But she is uncomfortable in this old house on her own. The noises always seem loudest at night. But then she argues with herself, everything is exaggerated at night, isn't it? She turns the TV sound back on. It's showing the news. She watches but she's not seeing. And then her heart almost stops. The noise above is loud. The male voice is really clear. Get out! She covers her mouth with her hand to stifle the scream that threatened to escape. Bang! 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 It was moving across the floor of the room, directly above her. Bang! Bang! Thud! Thud! It's moving onto the stairs. Oh my, it's coming down the stairs. Her stairs. She's nowhere to hide, nowhere to run. Sweat beads pepper her forehead. She's back to staring at the door, listening to the rhythmic thud of the footsteps on those steep stairs of this Victorian terrace house. Her breath has been held longer than a champion free driver. The handle. Oh God, was the handle turning? Was that her imagination? The noise stopped. Had it gone away? Or had it reached its destination? She could hear whispering. She moved her lead-like feet slowly across the carpet to the panelled door. The only thing now separating her and what lay beyond. Oh, the cold. It was freezing. She could see little plumes of cold condensation escaping from her mouth. She rested her ear against the door careful not to make a noise, convinced that whatever was beyond, that door could hear her heartbeat and her erratic breathing. Is that scratching? She can hear the whispering, but she can't help make out the words. It sounds like chanting. The scratching is directly against her ear. She pulls her head back sharply. The handle's turning. She's screaming, but there's no sound coming out. She steps back and the door explodes inwards. The sight before her makes the blood in her veins turn to ice and it gulfs her in its blackness. She'll be found in the morning in her beautifully decorated front room by her husband returning from his night shift. Natural causes will be on the conclusion on her death certificate. What do you think? <laughs>